Hi, it's Thursday morning, um, the 27th of August. And this morning I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to skip on a couple of Psalms just to come to Psalm 62. Let's read this Psalm together. I wait quietly before God, for my victory comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress where I will never be shaken. So many enemies against one man, all of them trying to kill me. To them I'm just a broken down wall or a tottering fence. They plan to topple me from my high position. They delight in telling lies about me. They praise me to my face, but curse me in their hearts. That all that I am wait quietly before God, for my hope is in him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress where I will not be shaken. My victory and honour come from God alone. He is my refuge, my rock where no enemy can reach me. O oh, my people, trust in him at all times. Pour out your heart to him, for God is our refuge. Common people are as worthless as a puff of wind. They are powerful, um, and the powerful are not as they appear to be. If you weigh them in scales together, they are lighter than a breath of air. Don't make your living by extortion or by putting hope in stealing. And if your wealth increases, don't make it the centre of your life. God has spoken plainly, and I have heard it many times. Power of God belongs to you. Unfailing love, O Lord, is yours. Surely you repay all people according to what they have done. Amen. In that psalm, the psalmist talks about how he pours out his heart to God. But at the very start of it, he says, I wait quietly before God, for my victory comes from him. He waits quietly before God because he recognises that God is exactly who he says he is, God. I wonder how often do we wait quietly before God? We, we talk about having a quiet time. Um, we talk about having that personal time with God each day. And whenever we, we read his word, whenever we pray to God and talk to him, and tell him the things which uh, we're excited about, the things which um, are troubling us, we bring our requests to him and, and we say thank you as well. But how often do we just sit quietly? How often do we just read God's words and then just let it sink in? You know, during the psalm, and you read the Psalms, there's different bits in it where it says interlude. It talks about just stopping and just letting it sit for a moment and just letting God's words sit with us. So I think that's something that we're not very good at because we're not very patient. And we tend to be in a hurry. We tend to always want to be rushing along. Uh, and we don't take that time just to be quiet in God's presence. So here's a challenge for today. Make time to be quiet in God's presence. Just to sit. Either after you've, you've read his word or before you read it, before you pray or after you've prayed, but just sit quietly and just let God's word sink into you. Let talking to him just sink in and see how you feel after that. Sitting quietly in God's presence. Let's pray. Father, we live in a world which is full of rushing, full of impatience, a world which wants an answer yesterday. Father, help us to, to take a step out of that world, to take time to sit quietly in your presence and to let you speak to us. Father, speak to us in the quiet, we pray. In Christ's name, amen. Thanks, folks. See you again tomorrow. God bless.